Hello folks, back again. I thought I'd give the trailer a test run behind the tractor just to check that it works okay. Well there we are, you've now seen the trailer in action on the tractor. A couple of things have come to light actually. First of all, the, the handle needs some fixing. This handle, it's no good being loose. As you drive along it tends to flop down like that. So it needs something on there to stop it falling down. Now I can't fix it directly on the back because the, it's got a turn tail which will tend to rotate. So I'll have to think up something on there. So that could be a problem. The other problem, it's not really a problem I suppose, it's my linkage. Works fine, but I'll tell you what, it makes it almost impossible to reverse the trailer. As soon as you try and reverse, it just sort of twists the bar around and it's very difficult to actually reverse it. And the third thing, which is addressable, is this particular wheel when it goes down, doesn't it? I don't know how it managed to get a puncher because it's only been in on there since I did the trailer up and I've hardly used it, I just brought it out, tried it around and I noticed it was flat in the workshop so I'll have to take that, have a look inside the tyre and see if the tube's got a hole in it or something This is what I normally use, that's the best thing if you take the valve out and pour this into the tyre it's sort of a, a gungy slushy stuff it rolls about inside the tube and any little holes it finds where air is escaping it rushes through with all this gunge in it and supposedly seals the hole up it's worthwhile really especially if you've got thorns about so I may have to do that but I will have a look at it first because it, it makes a hell of a mess if you do have to take it apart now that's something that I find really annoying the tyre on the trailer went down very quickly I pumped it up about an hour ago I went to try it so I could make a little bit of film of it for you and I found it had gone down again, so I pumped it up and I thought, well, I'd, rather than park it with a flat tyre, I'll take it off and have a look. So I've taken the tube out, as you can see. I've pumped it up. I can't find a leak anywhere. This is often the case. I put it in a bowl of water and there's no sign of any air coming out of that blooming tube. Yet I'll bet you if I put it back in that wheel, it'll go down again. Whether it's a, a fault in the new tube I don't know but I can't find it. I'll give it another go but uh, it's really annoying isn't it these things. I, I often get this when my bicycle tires they go down quite quickly you take the tube out pump it up you cannot find a leak for life nor money. It's really annoying. I'll have another go. Well I've had another go and I have finally found the hole. It's a tiny pinhole and it's on the seam. So I imagine it's a manufacturing fault. So I'm going to patch it and see how I get on. Well, it's an awkward one to patch because it's on a seam. So what I've done, I've put a long patch on it. The hole's about halfway through. So hopefully that should cover it. It's always difficult when you've got a little seam there to get the patch to stick. Well, that looks all right. I'll sprinkle some of the old talcum powder on it. That's what I normally use. I haven't got any French chalk. Uh, so I just sprinkle a bit of this on it. There you go. That'll do the job, that just stops it sticking from any stickiness around where the glue is. I'll pop it back in and pump it up and see how you go. That didn't take too long actually. Let's hope it'll be alright now. I'll go and stick it back on the trailer now and hope for the best. The trolley doesn't look so big on camera, but when you place 
the other trailer the one I refurbished last year alongside it you can see is quite considerably bigger it's much higher size